Check this out guys, this is the Produa M01. It is the first working prototype for Produa's very first electric vehicle. Let's take a closer look. If this looks like a MyV to you, that's because it is. This is a MyV, a regular car that has been successfully converted into an electric vehicle. Produa itself calls it the MyV conversion. The actual Produa EV that will go on sale sometime next year will look nothing like this, however. Of course, it will have an all new look, being an all new model, and so on. That, by the way, will be the very first Produa to be designed from the ground up as a Produa and not related at all with any Toyota or Daihatsu. I mean, both of those brands do not have any small, affordable EV that Produa can use as a base for now, so Prodo had to work on its own for its first EV model. As for pricing, Prodo has only mentioned that this car will be priced more than 50,000 ringgit because EVs in general are more expensive to make compared to a regular petrol car. But at the same time, it will remain as an affordable vehicle in Malaysia, priced below 100,000 ringgit. And on top of that, there's also going to be a new mechanism to control the resale value of an EV like this. So when you sell the car five years, seven years later, the value wouldn't have dropped too dramatically. The car that you see here is said to be a fully working prototype that can actually be driven. At the front, you'll see that the grille is now covered to make it look more like an EV, but behind it, there is actually a radiator as part of the cooling system for the battery. At the side, you'll see this fully covered up wheels plus small cameras instead of a regular side mirror. This is likely done for aero reasons and inside you'll see two small screens that act as side view mirrors. I think that's pretty clever. Whether that will make production or not, I doubt it on a Perodua. This working prototype was co-developed with three local universities in Malaysia as well as an R&D company from Australia called EV North. This car's targeted specs are pretty interesting as well. It uses a 57.6 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack, which is pretty modern. And it can also be charged using an 11 kilowatt AC onboard charger. That's already quicker than a BYD seals. However, for DC fast charging, it is pretty slow at only 50 kilowatts. So taking this car from zero to full will take over one hour of charging. But at the same time, this has a single electric motor powering the front wheels with over 160 PS, 220 Newton meters of torque, and the target 0 to 100 time is going to be around 7 seconds. That means it's pretty quick, faster than a regular MyV. Not that it's relevant, but we've also been told that the target top speed is going to be over 150 kilometers per hour. But the most important thing, of course, is the actual range. This display over here says 350 kilometers, whereas the table right there says 400 kilometers. So I guess it's somewhere in between those two. This obviously is a massive engineering challenge for Perodua. They can't just take an existing car from Toyota or Daihatsu and make it their own. They have to develop it from the ground up to make it a proper Perodua. I think that is really interesting. So those of you who still think that Produa only rebatches cars, this should completely change your mind. What do you think of this car's targeted specs? Do let me know in the comment section below. For now, thank you for watching everyone and stay safe.